All right, so welcome back, 849. And when the Rover opens this weekend, be prepared to see Guy Pierce and Robert Pattinson like you've never seen them before. We're talking a little grungy, bad teeth, bad hair, and no, su no superheroes, vampires, werewolves, they're in sight. Uh, the film earned a standing ovation at the Cannes Film Festival, and here is why. Take a look. Where is he? Where's Henry at? Where's your brother? Where is he? You tell me where he is or I'm gonna kill you. Where is he? Oof, thrilled to have the stars, Guy Pierce and Robert Pattinson with us this morning. And good morning to you both. Thanks for being here. No worries, thanks. Very intense, very dark film. So I'll ask both of you, jump in. What drew you to the film? Well, I think it was David Michaud originally who wrote and directed Animal Kingdom, which yeah. I think people may remember from 2010. And, and David's obviously a great filmmaker. He has a really interesting style. And, you know, when he presented me with this script, as I'm sure the same for you, you know, we both kind of went, OK, wow, this is interesting, bleak, uh, very kind of particular view of the world. It, it's strangely funny as well. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Which no one else has seen me to find it funny, but I thought it was hilarious. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's been a lot said about the chemistry. Uh, Ray is your character and Eric is yours. And mm. uh, it's been described as sort of near future. Mad Max meets the road. I thought that was a pretty good description of it. Yeah, I mean, mm. it just looks at the world that, that you know, if, depending on how you look at it, uh, that, that we could be sort of heading towards, really. It's not post-apocalyptic. It's not on the other side of a giant cataclysm. It's really 10 or 20 years from now, you know, w with, with just everything kind of going wrong. Possibly, and yeah. your relationship is uh, is interesting. You, you, yeah, I mean, I, I have one thing left to do in my life, and it's in my car, and my car gets stolen, and uh, and uh, you know, uh, through the a series of events, we end up sort of kind of teaming up. Yeah. But not he's really. A, I he, kidnap him really, can, and I think I've been adopted. Yes, he thinks he's been adopted and I've kidnapped him. Yeah, you, you obl oblivious, which is maybe not such a bad thing in this. Um, really, really fantastic. And I, I thought this was nice, Rob. You said you would like to have a career like Guy. What did you mean by that? Yes, what well, did you mean by that? I was that? talking about his side career as a <laughs> male stripper. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, I mean, I think just, uh, you know, you managed to... Guy's, you know, essentially a leading man and... How am I, supposed, I can't figure out how to put this in the nicest way possible. But like has uh, basically created uh, a kind of incredibly interesting uh, character actor career. Yeah, I, that, that's what you, you had I said. I, that? I, thought that was, I thought that was really nice. And how does that feel, that, you know, a big movie star, young, who wants to emulate your Oh, look, your it's great. I mean, for, I mean, you know, I'd be pretty happy with Rob's career as well, yeah. <laughs> to be honest. So, so uh, the word on the street was that you guys had a great working relationship during filming. So what we thought we'd ask really quickly how well you know each other. So are you ready? You're going first. Uh, Robert, what was Guy's character's name? And Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Oh, I have never seen it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Alicia. <laughs> Alicia. Alicia. That's Jolly the one thing. Alicia. Alicia Jolly Goodfellow. Unforgettable. All right, you have to say, uh, or you have to say, name of his, last name of his character in the Twilight series. Edward. Cullen. Hey. Come on. There you go. Edward see, we have each other so forever. Well. You'll, you'll see the chemistry in this very really dark well. film. Everybody, The Rover opens nationwide on Friday. Do check that out. We thank both of you.